you won't have a problem getting folks to the dinner table with this authentic Mexican recipe. Sally Swore is back with an incredible supper time solution. All right, I have never heard of this before. Uh, so what's the official name of this? Chili's Reinos. Chili's Reinos. The L's kind of silent. Uh, okay. But with my southern accent. Anyway, that's how it sounds. <laughs> and so you're going to take something that's a dish and kind of make it into a casserole for me. Well, I am. I love chili reinos. It's my go-to at a Mexican restaurant. I always judge a restaurant by their reinos. But really what you start with, if you're going to make them from scratch, is a poblano pepper that you roast, then you seed, and then you peel, and then mm -hmm. you stuff, and then you deep fry in a batter. And I'll use poblanos from our garden in okay. the summertime, but they're hard to get this time of year. They're expensive. So my solution is to use green chilies that you get in a can at okay, the store. Alrighty. So what we're going to do, this I sprayed the casserole with cooking spray, and these just open out like, like a little book. All right. You just splay them out. And, and in a way, we're just kind of going to layer this. We're right? going to layer it with cheese, and we're going to make a custard to pour over it to bake, and then a, a bunch of people can eat it. If I had to do a lot of separate fried mm -hmm. ones, it would take me forever. Now, if you want to make this a little more substantial, more than a side dish, or just a little heartier, you could add ground beef or ground sausage, or you could put in some ham. Oh. Okay, so, so okay. vary it up just a bit. So now I've got a layer, so I'm going to put half, um, about a half a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. And you can play with your cheeses, but I really like the way that it melts. And about a half a cup of cheddar cheese okay. on top. And then another layer of the chilies. And here's where I would put, if I was going to do some ground beef, I would mm -hmm. have cooked it. Put, and put a in layer there of that on top. And put okay. a layer on top. So I'm just going to fold these out. You want to start making the custard while yeah, I do this? Yeah, let me do that. Okay, here you go. This is five eggs. Okay. And I just started to beat them, and I'm going to put in a cup of whole milk. No, uh, two cups. I'm two sorry. Cups two of cups of whole milk. milk. Yeah. Okay. One cup wouldn't get it. All right. I'm going to put in three tablespoons of flour. And let me tell you a little secret. Mm -hmm. You can do this at home in your food processor. Yeah. You can have it ready. This this is the fastest dish I know how to make. When my son and his friends come in hungry, I have this stuff. I can make it in no time. A uh, little bit of salt, about a teaspoon. A little bit of baking soda mm -hmm. to make it puff up some cumin to give okay. it that Mexican, and then Leland, because it's you, cayenne pepper. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just get that good and mixed okay. up. Um, so I like how much heat does this have when everything is said and done? Poblanos are cheater peppers. They can be really hot or they can be pretty mild. You never mm -hmm. know until you bite into it. So these can, can have some heat and you can always add a little Tabasco. My son grows peppers. We've got about 20 kinds of peppers in the backyard right now. So I'm, I'm trying to get as used to pepper heat as you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but this is great because when you serve it like this, it's a vegetarian meal and you can serve it on corn tortillas if you want to mm -hmm. with a little bit of salsa, some cilantro, some red onion. All right, okay. now I'm going to put another layer of cheese. All right. I'm going to put the rest so of the cheese So the deal layer everything first before we put in the liquid. Then you put the custard over the top, and it bakes and puffs up kind of like a quiche. When mm -hmm. we put in the, the ground beef, my son calls it a Mexican quiche. Okay, all right. Okay, so you can pour that so over the top. So as I pour this, tell me about your book. It's, about, it's out in hardback now. Yeah, my first book has come out as a hardback. It's second printing, and my newest book will be out in the fall. It's called, are you ready for this? You're grown. Now you can throw a party. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Love that. And I bet you can. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. And that's what everything looks like when it's said and done and out of the oven. Oh, that looks good. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you, Leland. You'll find this recipe and more on Sally's popular blog. We'll link you to thedearone.com.